Hi everyone, my name is Vinay. I'm a software engineer at Dolt Hub, and today we're going to talk about connecting your Dolt server to a SQL editor, particularly Table Plus. For those who don't know, Dolt is Git for Data. It's a SQL database that you can fork, clone, branch, and merge, meaning that we've exposed versioning properties to a fully compatible MySQL database. Uh, and so first, let's just check that you have Dolt installed. So I'm going to go to my terminal and type in Dolt version. As you can see, I have Dolt version 0.37.3 installed. Uh, if you haven't installed Dolt yet, uh, please follow this instruction in our GitHub repo here. And in one command, you can go ahead and install Dolt. Similarly, I'd like you to install Table Plus. Table Plus is uh, my favorite SQL editor or GUI tool when I'm working with databases. It's fully native super fast and just has a lot of great features to, uh, that make it you know better than everything else I've ever used. Great, so I hope by now you've have Dolt installed and Tail Plus installed and let's go ahead and get started. Today we're gonna be working with this Dolt Hub database called the Coronavirus Database. So let's just quickly go ahead and clone it on top right of our screen here and copy, go to our terminal and do Dolt Clone Coronavirus. And you know that's gonna take a couple of seconds there since this is a pretty large database. Uh, but let me quickly explain what we're going to do once it's finished cloning. Uh, as soon as this is done cloning, what we're going to do is we're going to start a server on this database um, and then get an understanding of like uh, get an understanding of how that works. So let's go into our database. Um, let's first do an ls-a and we can see the dot dolt. And so we know that this is a dolt database. Um, and let's first, you know, play around with dolt for a second. Let's start doing dolt SQL uh, by running the dolt SQL. And you can see is that opens up a SQL shell for us to run SQL queries immediately on our database. So show tables, and there we go. I've just run a SQL query on my dolt database. But you may be thinking, Vinay, you know, there are all these tables, all these rows. I need something better than my terminal screen. Sweet. That's exactly where Table Plus comes in. And so what we're going to do now is the first step to this is we're going to start a SQL server. And so what is Dolt SQL Server? It is a command that spins up a server, <laughs> obviously it spins up a server that you can connect to whether uh, with, a, with the MySQL protocol to start running queries on your database. Uh, and so you can see here, we have a couple of parameters that are important. This represents the host and the port that we're running on. We're running on localhost with the port 3306. We're using a default username of root, default password of no password, and then some other additional parameters that aren't super important right now. Awesome. So we have our server running. Let's go ahead and connect it to Table Plus. So I'm going to open up Table Plus here, and I'm going to bottom right my bottom left of my screen. I'm going to open up a new connection. Uh, I'm going to hit the MySQL protocol, and we're going to create it. Uh, let's call this our Dolt uh, server. Um, we're going to use the default host of 127.0.1, a port of 3306. Uh, we're not going to use a socket. We're only going to be connecting through host and port, a username of root, no password, and that's it. Uh, let's go ahead and test our connection. And we can see it's all green. So we're go ahead and we can go ahead and connect. Awesome. If you're here right now, that means you successfully connected your Dolt database to uh, Table Plus using the MySQL protocol. Uh, let's go ahead and click this databases button here to see the two databases that we have. One is a coronavirus database, and then one is a standard MySQL information schema database. Let's go ahead and open this. Uh, we can see in the left side of our screen, all of these tables just popped up. Um, let's go ahead and open one. So I just clicked on it, and boom. What we have is the cases table beautifully displayed in front of us uh, with, uh, with, table, with table plus. Uh, we can see that about 300 rows are being displayed right now, uh, along with each row's values. And we can click around and test out some of the cool things about Table Plus, right? We can click the structure button to see all the columns in this particular table. So we have about five columns, and uh, these each column has you know a specific set of properties, a MySQL properties, and we can um, do this with any table in the database. Yep. And what we also have are views uh, for some of the more experienced MySQL users here. We can also create Table Plus also works really neatly with views. Uh, including the views queries and then the views data. Awesome. So what we've done so far is that we've connected Table Plus to our Dolt server and we've seen some of the data that uh, uh, that uh, that's in our database. Now you'd be wondering, Vinay, I want to start running some queries. You know, I don't just want to see my data. I want to run some queries. So what we can do is we can click this Open SQL Editor button here and start running queries. 
And so I can do a select from cases, limit one. I can see my result right here. I just queried my adult database with table plus. Now that's great. You talked to, uh, we know that we can run pretty much all of my SQL functionality on Dolt uh, through this existing table plus integration or table, table plus editor. How do I get to work with the editor, the uh, versioning features that Dolt uh, exposes? So, you know, if I met, you know, if I knew what the, if you heard me in the beginning, I talked a lot about merging, branching, commits, pulling, all sorts of these versioning features. That's not something that's native to MySQL, it's only native to Dolt. And so the way to work with those in your table editor or your uh, editor like Table Plus is to write SQL. So let me just quickly write a query for you to make that clear. Select underscore Dolt commit um, with some information. Uh, this is my commit. So whenever I'm ready uh, to do some sort of versioning properties, we can use these things called dolt SQL function, which basically exposes uh, some of the versioning semantics I talked about earlier. In particular, this is the dolt commit function, which basically tells our dolt database to make a commit. Here, commit my data at this moment. But before we do that, we first wanna actually make a change to our database. So let's go to table plus and let's add a quick column. Uh, let's call it column five, we're gonna call it, you know, any random name, I'm just gonna call it random. I'm gonna give it big int. I'm gonna make it, um, let's, let's make it nullable. We should definitely make it nullable and let's hit command S to save. Awesome, so we've saved our query. And then finally, we're now ready to just run a commit. Uh, Looks like I made a quick mistake here. Oh, sorry about that. I put a period instead of a comma. Uh, and there we go. We did a commit and we got, we can still see we got our response back, uh, which is the commit hash for a newly created commit. And then, you know, I can do something like query our dot log table to see all of our commits. Perfect. So uh, just to do a quick recap, in the first step of this video, what we did was we first connected table plus to Dolt to uh, test out all sorts of MySQL features. And now the second part is that we're using the same editor to test out Dolt specific features like committing, branching, and versioning. Uh, in particular, I just did one example where I ran through creating your own custom Dolt commit. Sweet, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And if you have any more questions, please feel free to reach out to our team. Thank you, bye.